Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we're going to be building a really simple uh, extension just using uh, vanilla JavaScript that's going to add controls to uh, reels and videos on Instagram. So as you can see here, I'm on this, this page and there's a video here, but it's just looping. All I can do is play and, uh, and pause. I can't actually uh, control it with the actual raw controls of the page. Now, the reason I wanted to make this video is to show how you can actually do things like this when you find a, a part of a page that you want to change, you know, something simple and how you can just quickly whip up an extension to be able to do that. Now with this, um, it's quite a good example because of the way that the, uh, is set up on Instagram. We have to inspect things and, and work out exactly what's going on. Um, so first, as you can see here, I can't actually right click over this element because they've got like pointer events, none around this here. Um, but I can easily just inspect outside of this, use the uh, selector tool over here and then highlight the element that I want. What I can see then is that there's these different elements over here that are taking the focus away from the video behind. So here's the video, um, but because these elements are in the way, it you know it can't be used. So essentially what I want to do is grab this, remove it, and then I can show controls and uh, that's what we want to get. So what we need to do is be able to find out how we can select these. Um, so if you're familiar with you know, JavaScript and you've done things like this before, this should be fairly easy. Um, but as you can see, the one thing that's different and you know things are on some sites are like this where they have these class names that you can't really rely on. Like we could go in and use this, but that could change. Um, so we want to ideally look for something a little bit more um, reliable. Now, as you can see here, this is the same pretty much all the way through um so looking at this the one thing i'd say we can rely on slightly it's not brilliant um is this padding bottom here on the styling so we can just grab it using that so if we were to select this element just with a document query selector we want to get a div with a style of this so if we put that in That would be div. We want to grab is this. We want to say div style and then equals. And then our, our quote, see, we've got that. So that grabs that element. Now, what we want to do then is now that we have this, we can see in the, the elements here that there's this element and then there's all of these and there's the video. So, what we want to first do is just add video to the end of this. So we can see we have this which if we then inspect again, we can see that the very next element here is the one that we want to remove. So all we're gonna do is add on to this, say next, next sibling, if we grab that and reveal, we can see there's this one here. And that is the one that has inside of these elements that are still in the focus away from our video. So we're just gonna say remove, and then now when we go over here, you can see that we have our controls are showing. Well, we can select them. So we would do then to actually be able to grab our controls is controls equals true and we should be able to see them. So the only two parts we should need to be able to grab over to our extension is this and this. So let's jump into VS Code now and actually start to put this together. Now, like I said, this is a very, very simple extension so all we have in our manifest is uh this basic setup here which i've already spelled wrong so we're going to call it instagram video controls add controls to instagram videos and then we have the uh the matches so we want to grab any uh urls on instagram and then we're going to inject this content script here so the content script is then going to have this. Now, one thing we need to look for, um, and this is something that I go into a lot more in my course, um, you can find a link to it um, in the description, is the Browser Extension Academy, which will be launching um, very soon. Um, and first it's opening to launching to all the people that have pre-ordered. So uh, thanks so much for that. And it's gonna be uh, great to, to get your feedback when that launches. Um, but in that, we go into a lot more detail of how you actually you know, inject this in the different ways you can do that. 
Um, but for right now, we're just going to um, change this slightly and set the, uh, the name here. So we're going to call it holder. And that will be this first element. And then we'll just say holder. Query selector video. So this will be video. And then we want one that is the next sibling. So that'll be video next sibling. And then all we need to do down here is say next sibling remove and video controls equals true. And then we're going to wrap all of this um, up here. So we'll say if there's no holder, we're going to return and say we're going to come to log and say could not find. You can see here um, autopilot's trying to help out. Could not find video holder. And if it did, we're going to run down here and run this. Now, one thing I do want to do though is put this inside a try block just to make sure that we're not adding any errors onto the page. Um, like this. So now that we can see what we have, um, let's just indent this. It's not perfect, but that'll do for now. So we're going to say, we're going to remove this. Now, the one problem we might have with this, as I was mentioning there, is that this is going to run straight away. So we're going to say down here, run at document end. Now, what we're using here is a, a useful uh, extension for VS Code that um, essentially lints or provides more sort of hinting to your manifest files. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. But you can see here, it just explains what each of these things are and gives you like autocomplete so you can fill these in, um, which is just a useful way of avoiding silly little errors in your, in your manifest. Um, but anyway, so we've got this here now. So what I'm going to do next is, um, What we're going to do next is actually run this. Um, so I'll see you over in Chrome. So here we are. So here we can see that the uh, extension has been added. Um, there's the permissions there. There's a the little name we gave it and everything. So if we go back here now and we're going to clear out all of this and we're going to refresh the page. Okay, so we have an illegal return statement in here. Oh yeah, that's why. Um, I was thinking we're in a function. What we could do actually is just put this in a function. So we'll say um, run script. And then down here, we will run the script. Um, just a simple little way we can do that. And then we're going to move this inside. So we're going to go back now and refresh our uh, code here. So let's just clear out these errors. Now we're going to come back into here. Now this didn't, oh, it did work. Okay, so I thought there might be a slight delay in the load. Um, you can see now that we have this controls and we can use this as a normal video. Now, you might find this useful if you um, have a, you know, watch Instagram videos on your desktop, especially really long videos. Um, and I can imagine a few ways you could actually expand this to add chapters similar to it like here on YouTube. Um, the control within your extension um, and different ways you can sort of add more value to people there, you know, save where you last left off. So if I was to finish at this point here, refresh the page, we could remember that and then continue from that point. You know, little things like that could really add to an extension like this. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Um, I'll share all the code to this in the description as well. And of course, link to my uh, browser extension academy, which as I mentioned, is coming very, very soon. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.